going on bombad fam oh my gosh new angle higher camera higher resolution camera watch look literally let's see what i can test this with here we go my ahmad best pin we are living in the new era look at that focus on that yes we've achieved a higher level of recording and streaming and discussing i'm so excited so with that being said Welcome to the Bomb Backcast. It's your boy, Scotty Jarrow. Jerry will be showing up in just a minute. Before we do that, we got to talk about one really important thing. In particular, the Beyond the Blast Stores Network. Yes! We've got all these wonderful people on Beyond the Blast Stores. We got, we got, we got Around the Galaxy, Postcards from Galaxy's Edge, Holo Chronicles, Beyond the Blast Stores Live. What? All these things are all part of one huge hive mind of creators, and we got couple more things in store for you soon including shows like bounty hunting and streaming star wars we will have something coming up later i'll bring it up later stay tuned we're super excited so with that being said if you like us if you haven't listened to us do yourself a favor and check them all out in particular if you really like us you can find us at beyondtheblastwars.com and if you really 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 like us okay if you really like us we've got a patreon yes it's the greatest. It is it is fantastic. So you can find us at beyond the I'm sorry, patreon.com slash forward slash beyond the uh Beyond the Blast Stores. Yeah, that's it. And you know, if you want to follow us on Twitter, you can always find us at Bombadcast. If you ever want to meet talk, if you ever want to record, by all means, reach out to us there. Okay. Now, I think it is time to bring in my wonderful wonderful guest to talk about something that we both have, I guess, a really big uh, love for. And yes, I'm referring to the pod racer video game for the N64. Here he is, the one, the only, Gerald the Candle Junkled. What's going on, Jerry? Da, na, 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 Jerry, look na, how na, high na, resolution na, we are. Na, 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 na. I know you were I know, grabbing your it's water. It's a new age. It's a Dude, new age. It's a new day. Watch this. We're Holo Chronicles right here. Watch this. Watch. Here is this really nice figure. Look at it in HD. Oh, shit, How oh, yeah. thick is that? Look at that. Ooh. We can I show am, stuff. That makes me that. so thirsty. Look at that. Look at that. Can you That's believe so it? so cool, Jerry. How are you doing? We are living in a new era. We've got new webcams. We've got some great stuff coming from the network. Oh, my God. Jerry's got a new set. <laughs> yeah, well, this is not going to be. This is a set. This is a temporary setup. Temporary. Um, this is temporary. This is temporary. Yeah. But man, we have we have a setup, man. We, we have do. a setup. This is just. I'm just excited to be here. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> Me too, I'm excited man. to to play around with yeah. some of. This is like one of my. Um, this is like one of the – this is the game that like my childhood was made of, frankly, you know? It's like – it is the game that I would like beg my mom and dad to get for me. You know what I mean? No, dude, of course. Like it – oh, man. I don't know. It's – I'm See, very it's out of breath too, you guys, yeah. because this setup kind of just happened. <laughs> As me and Scott were getting ready to do, so I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I wasn't out dancing no. in the streets or anything, but uh, uh, you were last night or when we, at the time night. of this recording, <laughs> we all we were. Both, we, we both kind of <laughs> were, man. No, it's, totally. And um, you know, it's crazy. You know, it, it's it's going to be a different feel for everything going after this point because I mean, you you listened to uh, saw, it was Bombad Motivations, whatever that episode was, and it was the farthest yeah. thing from motivations. Well. 
we might be into something now where the motivation might be kind of kicking back up. We got new gear. <laughs> high Scotty, gear. Me, we got high gear. We got all kinds of new stuff coming out with Bombad Cast. And we've got some. So the next next week's episode is going to be quite the episode. Just a little bit of a warning. Not telling you what it's going to be about well, yet, but ooh, is it going to be interesting? We, we've got we've got some great guests. Um, and. <laughs> We're. I will say there is. We have Scotty been having a little bit of a. Uh, we've been receiving strange. Uh, we we've been like the resistance. We've been receiving like transmissions from the unknown regions, right? Oh, we've been receiving strange signals, and uh, we're trying to to. We got something really cool planned for you guys next week, but. I, I I don't know. Just the way those signals are going, I'm really hoping that it doesn't like. I don't know. I hope we don't get pirated or anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, we'll see. Pirated we'll see signal where this goes. I don't know. But Jerry, Jerry. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, all the all the wonderful discussion aside, I want to bring up one really important thing. We're What's still celebrating thing? our Phantom Menace month. Now, it hasn't been a big push for it. It's gonna be kind of a subtle theme, but we got. Last week we had the amazing. Oh my! How great was that episode? We had Josh, we had Andy, we had Pete we had on talking about marketing. Oh, it was so awesome! Yeah, we really did have a panel. It was and, a um, full-on panel. Yeah. Oh, it was incredible. It was. And, it was. Know, uh, some might say that was a uh, peek into maybe a Beyond the Blasters Network 2021, mm-hmm. 2022. Sorry, 2022 celebration panel. Oh, Who maybe. Knows? Yeah, depends more than on likely. You guys. Depends on the listener. So, Jerry, to continue this whole thing we've got going on, we are talking about the amazing and one of a kind game. Honestly, they've had others, Star Wars racers, but I don't think any right. of them could stand up to this, including Bombad Racing, which is something we still need to get on. I'm going to order that. I'm I don't think I've ever that. played it. Honestly, PS2. I don't think it's available. I'm going to find like- it on PS2. I'm just gonna find. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stream it. I'm gonna find some way to. We're, we're gonna have to do that. I have to. We've got. We've got to. It's got to. We've got to hack a server and make a <laughs> video game server. We've got to. We gotta. We gotta get some kind of hack. Something. Yeah. We are hacks. We are hacks. Told. That's exactly um, what it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly. So, for most of our listeners, um, I'd imagine that they are around the same age as us, or maybe a little bit older. Just depends. Um, and maybe even younger. But this is really weird because this game we're talking about today has now had a re-release. So it's relevant again. And honest to God, I played on the N64. I have it right here. I have it all hooked up. And then I played it on my Switch just today to see how it right. felt and was there any differences. And I'm not going to lie. I like it more on a new console, uh, console, console. But playing it with that N64 controller, I mean, Jerry, do you have any memories of this? Look at this. Oh, dude. Oh, like that was a zoo. Close shot. That seriously is one of the like like I used to play Mario like I used to do the load screen where you pull his face for forever. Oh, like Mario sixty four. Like yeah. I was somebody's mom and stuff, yeah. you know, like who would just like oh you can pull his face. Um, <laughs> but no, no, no. I so many hours spent oh, yeah. just playing with that in sixty four man like that and Heck that yeah. burned. I. I dude, I wore out that copy. I didn't really it it it's as far as I know, I think my N64 and all of that jazz still works. Oh. And it's still, is that in Arkansas? I think it is. I might have to talk Gotta you know, go I got, up there. I, my parents brought me they, they're coming in a couple weeks. Oh. Maybe I should Perfect. see. Perfect. I we'll, we'll see because I'm just, you know, I'm I'm not much of a retro gamer like you are mm-hmm. and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, mainly because I have it. Yeah, I you, we talked about the re-release. I yeah. bought, and I think you did too. Uh, Star Wars Racer. Oh yeah, on my PlayStation Four, and so oh. now that's what I've I've got. You don't see I've got because I didn't have time to set it up downstairs. Yeah, um, we're both. Scotty's working on his setup. I'm about to start working on my setup. Yep. So you know. We're a little in flux and everything, but it's it's okay. It's all good. We're all, you're all good. You're all good, baby birds. Don't worry. Baby birds, welcome baby back. Birds. Welcome back. So, yeah, birds. like you were saying earlier, you know, whenever you had it growing up, like it very much was one of those games, at least to me, that like 
I play with my dad, and it's weird. My dad never played video games with me, but he loved this game. And we would sit there, and we would talk about it and stuff. And the best right. thing about this game is that not only was it a good game because it was episode one, you know, like, really, like, what a monu- – like, it was so monumental when that game came out. There's, like, five games that goes along with it. You can hear that on the merchandise episode we had, you know, um, last week. fun episode. But, but you know, this game to me was the one that I think I spent the most time on, you know, honestly. And it was a really good game. It was a really yeah. good racing game. And, like, I, as a kid, there was only two racing games. Look, let's be real. The only two racing games were Mario Kart and this. <laughs> and, I mean, seriously. and like They really are, yeah. Like, That's playing really this – no items involved, but there's a lot more speed, a lot more, um, a lot more, I guess, mm-hmm. hazards. It's a, it's a fun game, man. It really is a fun game. It it's really like cl- is. Classic Star Wars too, Jerry. I know you love this. Like the character select is just incredible. Right. Just like the, <laughs> like Dud Bolt, and you get like Odie Mandrell. There's like there's so Mac. many classic. Yes, yes. All the like, and then there's no Marfa Lump. Which no. I know, like Pete and them were saying, like that should have been like th- honestly, Marfa Lump. I think that someone had watched Men in Black, oh, exactly. and they were like, uh, "Let's put one of those in and stuff." <laughs> we still have to watch the uh, behind the scenes. I'm telling you, it's hilarious. Oh no, that'll be a whole episode. That yeah. will be a whole episode. It'll have to be. But yeah. uh, no, dude. Um, I don't know. Like, and I've been pl- again. I've been playing it here in on uh, my PS4. Yeah, and stuff. It's. It's really took me back because I I I'm, I was never like oh yeah I gotta have it mm-hmm. after growing up now you know like he you know as a 33 year old gentleman of course I uh, I was like ah, do I really need it and stuff but mm-hmm. playing it and there's especially like the uh, uh, I forget exactly I think it's like Ando Prime or something oh yeah really reminded me of how often that when we went to the local J C Penney's. In the town next, it was like at the mall. The mall yeah. that was in the next town over, we would go and J.C. Penney's, the kids section. They had a little video game area, and they had an N64 set up because it was a big deal, right? And oh, that's they awesome. had it where you they had it for a while when this first came out where you could play uh, Racer. So those are my wow. first memories. Is I would, my mom would be like, "Okay, we're going there to shop," and I'm like, "Um." Are you okay with this? this? Is the first time I started like going off by myself. You know, I was like, Mom, sure, sure. Uh, can I just uh, go over there and uh, if Ra- see if Razor's open and stuff? Like, yeah. yeah, sure. So like, I would just be over there and she would come get me. You know, dude, that is actually done. really kind of sick. I don't know, it's, like that. Uh, oh man, it reminded I, me of that though when I was doing because that the Ando Prime level was like one. Yeah. It's like number two. Is like yeah. And I, I just remember like driving through those like over those little icy like oh yeah you know you have the levels that go uh, it's like icy lakes or whatever and they go yeah. down one and down when you go through the arches and all that and I, yeah playing it just the other night just really like I, I was like whoosh, like right back oh it's so cool that twelve year old boy eleven year old boy however whenever it came I forget if it came out post it probably came out post yeah I don't know but I, it took me right back to like. I'm standing in this like clothing store waiting for my mom to come get me like trying yeah. to play as much of this as I possibly can. <laughs> so awesome. Like, or if it's like someone was standing there, you're like just constantly walking around the whole group <laughs> waiting for them to be done. Yeah. Was, oh, so, so much. That's fun. kind of, that, that's dope. I don't know. It's off the, I can't even, I forgot. And it just like, pff, there it was. Yeah, dude. So and the fun. music. There's there's like one cue they do all the oh. time, da, 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 da. and it's it's just like I don't know it has such a good feel to it and I, there's like when you pass someone up ooh, 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 they all scream <laughs> at you yeah and they run into you and stuff there's there's something to it I don't even know how to describe it but it's really good it's just a really really good like atmosphere building racer and you know I didn't realize this it's just fun I guess. I guess it was because I didn't notice it on my N64. I just, you know, clicked through it as fast as possible as a kid. But I didn't know there was, like, cutscenes before races. And they would be, like, you know, on Uvo 4. Uh, on uh, No, is it Uvo 4? Yeah, Uvo 4. No, which one's the, 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 the dang it, the prison planet? Is it Uvo 4? I don't know yet because I, I've, I've, I haven't played, I haven't played all the way through yet. I'm, I'm on, 
I keep crashing. I was like, I felt. I felt like I was like a prodigy at it. I got back yeah. on and I'm like, I'm like winning first, like boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I got to Malastare. Oh, yeah, Malastare is difficult. And I'm like, I'm like just crashing into everything. And like, <laughs> I get lost. Like, so I'm like, this is the, yeah, anyway, so I'm still there. But, oh, yeah. So Uvo Prime. The, you, you, Uvo 4. The Uvo planet. 4. Uvo 4. Sorry. The prison planet, yeah. So whenever, um, whenever you get there, they're like, the the warden of Uo Four and all like they're like and then all the oh, you hear the prisoners go boo because this is so <laughs> Star Wars and weird but you know it's funny I believe one of the people that worked on the game has been really active on Twitter I forgot who it was but they had been posting all the concept art of everything and the concept art for this game was like Doug Chang level like beautiful it was so sick it's amazing. So, yeah, oh, well, no, I it, noticed it's something so awesome. about Malastares. They have that green mist. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like they kind of in. This is way before Clone Wars, but then you know when we have the Zillow Beast, mm-hmm. that gas that it, that Malastares known for is like that green mist. How cool is that? I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's what uh, my brain. You know, well, you know, Cannon Junkie immediately mm-hmm. too. Like, oh wow, like that's so that's awesome, world man. Like, yeah, this is kind of. Because I was like, oh, Malastare, like we used to be like, oh, that's where Reese is from. And yeah. then now like Sebulba's from there. And I honestly don't know. I don't know how all that works anyway. So, <laughs> No, I get it. And like there's something like what what a better game, you know, because you watch the pod racing scene in the Phantom Menace and there's like three action scenes that come to mind. Of course, Duel of Fates. And then you got the, right. the uh, space battle above uh, Nabu, And then you've got the pod racing scene <laughs> and the pod racing scene is so sick. And I, I think literally my grandfather, my dad, that's, that's the only thing they remember from that movie is just the pod racing really? scene. So like, yeah, whenever, whenever you think about, what a better game to make, right? I mean, oh my god, what a what a clever, clever choice. It's yeah, and we haven't really had anything like it since. No, and honestly, the first time we've had pod racers really like heavily referenced since was in oh like god. chapter nine of the Mandalorian. Yeah, chapter how three. funny is that? Is that yeah. the, the most? <laughs> It's so true, though. Well, I mean, there was like there were pod the most overt reference because there was like in that sports bar on uh, in episode two where you saw a pod racer going on. Yeah. Or someone was playing episode one racer. (laughs) I don't know. We'll never know. That's that'll be the question. George comes in here uh, in the background. (laughs) It's Uh, the typical. Well, uh, you know, we 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 just thought uh, uh, my my son was just really into it. And uh, we, we, we forgot to tell him to turn it off. So My son, Jet. Uh, yeah. yeah. That, yeah, yep. That's all. That's, <laughs> That's all. all. No. That's all. Um, that, that episode of Mando, and I think, and now correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe there's I one know. in the background <laughs> uh, and The Force Awakens. Like, doesn't BB-8 run by one, kind of, or is that enough just to make me think it was a pod race engine? A pod racer engine, it, I mean... Anything looks like it. It's basically pod racers. All they are, they're mm-hmm. like it's space chariots. It's two yeah. jet engines. Yeah, strapped to a pod with like yeah. a thing to connect them, so they don't. I never thought about that way. They they are like chariots. That's kind of odd. That's what it's a chariot Good race. Point. It's been yeah. her, dude. I never thought. I've always thought it was a car race, but now in terms of but design, it's both. you're it's right. Both. Yeah, it's both. It be, but it's like the design is definitely it is a space chariot. Yeah, you know. Do you have a design in particular that you like the most, like uh, like pod race design, or no? A pod racer design? Yeah, anyone that like res- that resonates with you. I mean, do can you guess, or do you want me to say it? No, I'm being serious. I don't know. I'd imagine. I come love- back to the mic. Come back to the mic. Sorry, sorry. I want to go grab mine. How dare you walk I, away? I probably I have to walk away here in a second. Like, let the cat in. So you didn't pound the door. No, no. Mine is dud bolts, and I've I've had I had really? a micro toy of it. Yeah, yeah. Look. Oh, nice. Oh, I have. So, is that the one you can take apart and put it Not, together? I don't think so. Oh, no, those are that's like a micro machine one. Okay. Yeah. Mine I is love dud bolts. M- mine is Sebulba. Yeah, so what was sick? That orange? 
the orange and the black, and it's, I mean, it's on there right now. I'm, I've got the screen, like, up here, um, and, like, the, the episode on racer screen, like, I'm yeah, ready to yeah. go. And it, <laughs> that thing looks sick. I've got it downstairs. I almost brought them up. But, oh, like, yeah, you know, right, those pod racers and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, and Sebulbas has, like, you know, it, it, he's got, excuse me, I promise I'm not going to fall asleep. Um <laughs> It's got like uh, gadgets and stuff or whatever. He's the cheater. Uh, yeah. mm-hmm. But like, just the sound that it makes, like the oh, dude, it looks like he's got like the biggest. Like his engines look like they're going to engulf Anakin's pod when he's up behind him. You know, oh, that yeah. shot and everything. It just, I don't know. There's something about it that just is really kind of sick. Gasgano's is pretty cool too. Oh yeah. I never Heck really yeah. thought Anakin's was the best back in yeah. the day. I don't know why. I don't, I like, well, it's just I mean, kind of, it's okay. But now it's, it's like, it's, it's growing on me more throughout the years. It's so bare. And I think that's kind of the point of it. It's like three PO yeah. pod racer. It's just like, right. just like two engines and then they got the folds and that's it. Mm-hmm. Like it really, that's all it is. It's, it's pretty, it's, yeah. it's very of the, uh, prequel era though, which is really kind of cool. Like Doug Chang, when they were like, we want to establish this new era of Star Wars or like, you know, you want to see like what was grand before and like you see right. that design. You're like, oh, and your brain kind of instantly goes, I know how this works, which was one. Do you remember that? The, the five second rule that Doug Chang had? He said, if if someone looks at the design, we saw this at the panel together. If someone oh, yeah, looks yeah, yeah, at the yeah, design yeah. and they can't tell what it is in five seconds, then then you did not do your job. And right. I'm like, that's so true. You know, but that's a pause. good that's a good mandate, right? Mm-hmm. That's a good thing to like just have going because oh, yeah. it's it, I, you wonder why Doug Chang is the the master right now. Oh, of course. Uh, with with the Star Wars concept art, you know, I mean, we all miss uh, Ralph, Ralph McQuarrie, mm-hmm. but I mean, Ralph also wasn't like he was he was doing car designs and stuff, mm-hmm. so it's just kind of got thrown into it. But Doug is like. He oh, is the, the master. He yeah. is the master of Star Wars concept art right now. Oh, yeah. And it's and so, so cool. That's a great because, philosophy. No, no. It's so cool because, you know, now, like, we've got all these new designs coming from the Mandalorian, you know, and future content. And we'll see what it ends up being. But, like, I would love a return to seeing a pod race. Like, I think it would be so awesome, you know? I want that, too. I'm all for right now. Like, we... I understand that you felt you had to uh, pull back on the prequel stuff maybe at the beginning because of all the edgelords and people who were like, you know, there are still people who are like, oh, yeah, those are terrible and stuff. Yeah. Like, most of us who are big fans who pay a lot, like we give more of our money to that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's like it, it, it's not as um, sorry. The cat is like banging at the door now. Just push it open. I left it cracked. <laughs> he just goes <laughs> um, what was he even saying what were we talking you, about you were referring to the fact that that uh, pod races should be returning and you said you understand that the edge lords oh, were like well I, I remember when like the force awakens was coming out they're like mm-hmm. making big pushes on you know like oh this isn't the prequels this is all yeah this that was weird and but I just get it. begin to make things right and stuff and then yep. now they're being a little more like like in the Mandalorian they're just like Screw it. Battle yeah. droids. Yep. Um, pit droids. Yep. Weird. I mean, we had Phantom Menace humor with the pit droids. Oh, my God. In this yeah. season of The Mandalorian already with, like, the thing on the face. And, and then uh, one thing I will bring up real quick, too, the jetpack moment was Phantom Menace. Like, that was pretty cool. All the way was, through. Well, that was even Return of the Jedi, the part that I yeah. hate. That, oh, yeah. I, I love that they put that in there. Oh yeah, because it's just we we know we are all you guys out there know. Me and Scotty yeah. are like more weird Star Wars. It is oh, fun yeah. because it's not completely dark and serious and all that. Kind of, there are moments like that, and it is deep, and it will make you ball by yourself on the couch during an election um, when you're like sitting like by yourself. And like uh, uh, not that that happened to me recently, <laughs> but it did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's all of it is just like there's weird stuff about all of it. Yeah. But I'm of the mind now where I'm like, I'm so ready for this 
era of Mandalorian where it's Mandalorian Star Wars where it's like we're going to bring anything in to make it more cohesive. Heck yeah. All this stuff from the movies is cohesive, but I'm like stop banging the the stop beating around the bush and getting a gungan back in. Mhm. I think me and you both want that. It's oh like, heck yeah. Just the gungan's like it. who cares? Bring freaking Jar Jar back because Before Ahmed we know best it. Ahmed best needs to come back and redeem, get redeemed in all these. Uh, I just think people are too <sighs> about Jar Jar Binks anyway. But like, but put a put a pot race in there. I remember oh. when the Tross, the very first Tross trailer came out, and it showed the uh, the uh, jetpack troopers flying through the. Uh, remember, I, I said that's yeah. like going to be a pod race just because they had like these like areas where they were like you know. Had little, I guess, it almost looked like water, uh, water evaporators, but they had all those things. And I swear, like, I was hoping it'd be like in the middle of the pod race and they like get caught in the middle of it. I'd be like, that'd be so full circle yeah. and start over here, then you end up over here. Oh, it'd be so awesome. But, you know, you can dream. Boy can dream, but we'll see. I just, you know, like, surprisingly, the guy who wanted to put Jar Jar's bones in the Jakku Desert yeah. didn't want a pod race. Yeah. Hmm. I'm, just, I'm joking. I'm not. This is no. Gonna turn that into this. <laughs> no, no. I want to bring up one thing too because it's it's interesting. I loved Resistance, the show. It was good. It had it yeah. had a good run. But could you imagine if it was like a pod race instead? You know what I mean? Or like a thing that could transform pod the race into a pod? Oh my god, that would have been so cool. I, because Scott, you I don't been, think you would have been able to. I don't think you would have been able to take that. No, mentally. You want to know why? Like, you want to know why? Okay, because it's there's something. Okay, obviously we love pod racing, but like it could have led to like Dud Bolt being a main character or being like a, a maybe even a jerk or like uh, or <laughs> Not Dud Bolt. Bolt or or Ben Ben Quadraneros being like a an, a real rude person. Oh. Like it no, would be like, no, no. Being Brent, I want Ben. I'm a big Ben fan. Ben Quadraneros. So, you know, bring bring Ben back. <laughs> oh, that's the that's what the hashtag's about. Now bring I finally ben back. Get it. bring Ben Quadraneros. I also think I would be okay if Ben. We won't get into that, but I'll I'd be okay with that too. But yeah, Ben, more yeah. Bens, more Bens in Star I would, Wars. I would also love to see like, you know, this is now this is just real pipe dream. I would love to see like. The moments that led up to the Boon to Eve classic in terms of like Anakin making mistakes. Like I would have loved to have yeah. seen that, you know? That would have been so cool. What what his pod looked like then, or if, if it even was the same pod. Like oh, imagine man. something even crappier. Like just yeah. like I, I love that. It's a great idea. You know? <laughs> it's just it a cool been, concept. It would have been know. absolutely perfect. Like just I don't know, but there's just something about pod racing that Yeah. I think I've told you that I have some friends who famously for me were like the pod race is too long. It's the worst part of the whole movie. I never like, understood like, that. I don't understand it either Never. because I'm like, I mean, like, I, okay. It's I mean, a simple I'm sound. Sorry, girl. you got bored. Yeah, like, you sit there and listen. Even if you don't like to watch it, you list. Oh, listening to it's incredible. Yeah, and they <laughs> could have changed their stance on it by now. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, guys, if if you're out there, you know who you are. If you're out there watching or listening, if you are, I, you're not. You're not. I know you're not. It's okay. Um, just give it a chance. Just give it a chance. A little, little. Just give it a chance. Yeah. No. I. Uh, we're asking. I do have some sort of love for this scene, and, and I'm sure. I mean, Eric's told you the story, and you've heard it. I got real. I got real <laughs> drunk on New Year's Eve, and I kept, <laughs> I kept slamming my head, my hand against the desk, saying, "This is the best sour." I got oh, Eric. Eric knows the exact phrase I said. It, it's very, it's very in, inebriated, Scott. I forgot exactly what it was. But I put on the pod race scene. I cranked up the volume to like right. as loud as my surround sound system can go. Gotcha. And all I just felt the floor go. Oh. I just got the Bose system working in my house again. Oh, nice, nice. I'm pretty, like, I was like putting on. I was putting on like stuff, you know. Like my test for it was being able to hear big old what's his name from uh, Force Awakens when Ray's dragging her stuff, and you hear him like you hear his footsteps <laughs> in the theater. Oh yeah. Yeah, and stuff you couldn't hear it on video unless you uh-huh. had like a good sound system. Yeah, it was, like, it was like, 
was like right back and I was just, oh that and then like uh, Obi Wan and the uh, Django doing the uh, seismic charges. Yeah, of course. So much better. So, so much good. Better. It's like right back to movie theater quality. See, so good. that's the thing. You got Bose, man. I got my Sony's, and I love, I love what that I have. But I, I think I, I lucked out. I lucked out. I would love Bose. to be you. I, I be lucked you, out. Bro. You gotta, you, you dude, you gotta, uh, you gotta have a rich relative who is just getting rid of stuff. <laughs> like, hey, you want this? And then yeah, you go, exactly. Hell yeah, I want that. Yeah, yeah. give me that. Heck Don't yeah. tell anyone. Don't tell anyone else because I want it. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, Jerry, you know we, we've been we've been going on for thirty minutes nonstop. You know us. Um, do you want to kind of get into playing it? And you know, this is my okay. Actually, I'm gonna let everyone in on a little secret if you don't mind, Jerry. I mean, I guess I'm okay with it. By now, you may have already seen it. You may have even heard about it. I think we are due for a trailer this that already released this Thursday. But Beyond the Blast Wars Network is adding a new show to its feed. Did you hear about this, Jerry? Did you hear about this? I th- I've, I've heard of the show and the feed. Yes. I didn't know we were getting a trailer pretty soon because, again, Jerry – Kind of becomes dead to the world um, during work. <laughs> yes, but uh, I, I'm excited. I'm excited for what we've seen by this. Yes, time, right. So, right. so for our listeners and for our watchers as well, Beyond the Blast Wars is adding a new show when we are going to be calling it, and it's going to be ran by me. Actually, more by Shannon Moran. Let me ran by Shannon Moran, but I will be one of the hosts, and so will Josh Most be a host. And I'm sure Jerry will show up. Pete's going to show up. David's going to show up. But we are going to be doing a video game stream almost every Thursday. And Shannon, cool enough as she is, she'll be covering all the new games. Okay, Shannon's pretty up to date. She knows what she's doing. I just got my setup all completely done. We playing the old games. Yes, I'm talking everything from N64, okay, to PS2. So to start this thing off, to kind of give you a little bit of a taste, I'm going to play N64 directly from my N64 into your visual. Uh, I guess you're whatever you're watching this on, whatever you're listening is your visual receptor. Yes. And I will say this as well. Jerry will also be playing. He'll be playing on his PS4, but we're not playing together. And I don't think my audio is going to be shared whenever I do. So (laughs) this is just a test. This is just for fun. If you want to watch it, you go ahead and watch it. But uh, Jerry, if you don't mind stalling while I get all this hooked up and I'll be back in just a moment, Jerry, maybe while we're away, while, while, while I'm away, Talk about this game since you've been gone. There you go. Yes. Yeah, I've kind of been getting my setup like turned around, guys. Perfect. Well, look, I'll be right back, okay, Jerry? You're good. You're good. So, uh, guys, what we are going to be trying to do, and um, I'm going to try to get to a uh, position where it is uh, fun to listen to. You see, I've got, you know, that's an easel, not for this. Um, But. There is going to be uh, some fun gaming stuff coming your way in the very near future, in the Beyond the Blasters pipeline. Uh, it's something that got, we got just all kinds of fun stuff where we've been shifting stuff around, um, you know, uh, just trying to think of new content and different content ways that we can set ourselves out, guys. And we're just excited for the the future is very bright and we're so just psyched to do Anything when me and Scotty are just psyched to even be like a part of the Beyond the Blast Source Network, and so uh, there now it's Bomb Edcast. Um, but guys, like seriously, you are not ready for the the episode one racing that is about to go down again. Uh, we are not playing together because, uh, quite frankly, it. Is not that kind of game. They need to like have a function like that. We need to get something like that to come back. I don't know if Scotty's listening or what he's doing. He's out there somewhere. We love you, Scotty. Um, Godspeed, sir. Godspeed, Rebel. Um, But it would just be amazing to have this. A remake, a remaster, or something with online play. I can't even... I. I can't even imagine 
how cool that would be to just have something like that going on. So you know what? I'm gonna I, I'm gonna I can't wait for Scotty. I'm gonna dive in. I don't know how you can't really see much of it uh, very well uh, there. You can kind of see me, but let's uh, let's see what we can get going here, right, guys? Let's see what we can get going. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, look how classic this is. For anyone enjoying this wonderful audio experience, I suggest that you should maybe take a second, because this episode's kind of pretty much over on the audio version, but you can always jump to the YouTube page and watch the YouTube video. Now, I will be honest, the footage captured on StreamYard is not exactly how Canto Bite Game Night will go, but there's some good commentary, good conversation, and always some good laughs. So... I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Bombat Cast, and remember to stay Bombat. Oh, bum.